Hey guys, it's Nick. I got a tutorial for you that's also an apology. Um, I uh, gave you guys the wrong method before when I was talking about V-Ray and uh, trying to cut a um, light section. Uh, the V-Ray clipping plane doesn't work the way that I thought it did. Um, I had a little confused with uh, Maxwell, which was the rendering software that we used to use in this class. Uh, the V-Ray plane actually cuts the geometry when it's rendered, or it actually... Um, sends that geometry to the renderer. And so what you actually end up with is something like this in its worst case. You can see that like it's actually, you can see the light coming in. Imagine the sun is like, you know, where where your eyes are right now when you're watching this video. The sun's rays are going inside and you can see that it's actually clipping the side of this um, and it's bouncing off the floor and it's totally getting the light wrong in that space. Um, it actually ought to look like this, right? So much different, you know, when you're looking at that at that at that interior light condition you can see the full shadow of this uh, box ignore the kind of post shave right now we'll we'll fix that but um, I just wanted to kind of point this out that you know again this is what I taught you when you're using the like clipping plane in V-Ray uh, it actually isn't giving you um, that uh, true cut we really want to get this to get the true lighting effect and the and 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 really like the real um, exposure of that of that space um what i'm going to show you is a way to get around that to make it work properly i do have to say it feels like kind of a hack to me because it's it's a little bit convoluted i would really expect the clipping plane to to, to kind of work as advertised so uh with that in mind though, i'll show you this method it does seem to work really well and it gives us the effect that we want so uh, just kind of bear with me here so i've got a, a model that i made it's a, a box with like a just a with some some walls and I cut a hole in the ceiling just a little oculus um, it looks like this okay and this is just kind of our base uh, kind of our base model so the method you're going to use instead of what I showed you is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut we're, we're going to we're going to draw our section line and plan and then we're going to go in perspective and extrude it and just make kind of a big plane uh, and just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and move this down a little bit. It's always good to have a little bit of overlap. You don't want things to be exactly touching. And then, just so you can see what that looks like, I'm going to go ahead and split it. So we've seen this method before when we created the poche uh, when for our for our uh, like Make 2D. Uh, and it's the same method we're going to use here. So we're going to use this plane. We're going to split everything. So Control-A. We're going to deselect the uh, splitting plane with control and click, right? So we press enter and then we're going to choose the plane and then it's going to split everything. And then we're going to, as carefully as possible, select all this material. Let's go ahead and put it on another layer, you know, and, and I'll call this like split. And we can go ahead and hide. Well, let's, let's worry about that later. So we're going to go ahead and hide that layer. The other thing that I want to do is I do want to get that poche in there because you can see in this method, if you're not using the um, the V-Ray clipping plane, you don't have that poche anymore. You get this weird kind of, you know, gap or whatever, which I don't really, um, which I don't really care for. So um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go into my model, and this is the technique I used earlier. I'm going to split the plane now, actually, and I need to, um, I need to make sure that everything is on. A different layer because I'm going to get lost pretty quickly here. Okay, so I'm going to split the plane with everything else, and then I'm going to delete the plane, and then that'll give me my poche. Uh, I can just delete, yeah, delete this. Okay, so I've got my poche on one layer, I've got my back facing stuff. You can see what this looks like. Okay, and then I'm going to go and make my camera based on that. So go to right view, go to properties, change it to a perspective view, a little zoom in here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do a dolly because I want a little bit of depth to it, a lot of depth to it. I like depth. Uh, save that camera because you always save your cameras. Camera. At this point, you probably want to save a copy, but I trust myself. Okay, so there's the split. Now, what we're going to do in V-Ray is, is, again, admittedly pretty hacky. What we're going to do is we're going to make a two-sided material. Um, a two-sided material has a front and a back. And in this case, the front is the side that's inside the model, and the back is the side that faces the camera, which is us in this case, where our, where, where our eyes are. And I'll show you what that looks like. So first thing I'm going to do is make a generic material. 
I'm going to call it opaque. And it's going to be white, mostly. And it's opaque. And I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to call this one clear. All the settings are the same, except I'm going to go to opacity, and I'm just going to say zero. It is, it is completely clear. Okay. And then I'm going to make my two-sided material. Take the clear material, put it in the back. Take the opaque material, drag it to the front. Uncheck force single-sided and drag the translucency slider all the way up to maximum. Okay, what this means is that there's no blending between the two, it's just it's straight clear or straight opaque. And this opaque material in your model can be any material. If, if you have brick or you have some colored stuff or whatever, you can certainly put that in there, make a two-sided material, and then just put clear in the other slot. Because we're not really gonna see that, it might be okay to have just a white material, but if you really want to see the color contributions of the different materials or of some glass or something like that, if it's really important to you, you can go ahead and make a two-sided material for each one of the materials that's in the cut side. That's really tedious, and that's why this feels really hacky to me. But so far, it's worked pretty well for me. So I'm going to turn back on the split layer, and I'm going to apply that material to the split layer. So everything on that is going to be two-sided. Now, if I go into my settings, I'm going to switch to interactive uh, render. The EV needs to be pretty high, like at least 15, because we're, we're actually gathering uh, very faint light from the inside of the spaces. It's essentially like an interior rendering. Change my sky, my bitmap for the uh, environment to sky, as we've done before. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I am going to um, turn on the sun. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do the frame buffer here. That's an old rendering. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and you can see that we've got our poche, and that's rendering pretty well. And you can see that we you don't see the edge of this thing. You don't see any light coming into it. It really looks like the way it's supposed to. But let's 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 force it. Let's make it as uh, as good or as bad as it can be. All right. And so let's, let's, there we go. I got some light coming in. So you can see already the shadow. You can see the kind of Oculus kind of rendering here. Let's, uh, let's give it some angle and see. I really want to try. There we go. It just takes a minute because again, it's gathering quite a bit of light from the inside of that space there. That's really nice. I like that quite a bit. You can see that bounce, but not light coming from inside and you can say nick i don't trust you anymore all right fair enough i'm going to go ahead and select all the objects and i'm going to go to properties and i'm going to show you what happens when we actually turn those off and that is kind of like what you guys had been getting it is what you guys had been getting with the clipping plane so basically i'm just turning them invisible to the camera that appears to be computationally what the uh what the v-ray clipping plane was doing or is doing if i turn those back on you can see that we're getting what we're supposed to get all right so again guys i'm real sorry uh i didn't uh <laughs> did, when i made my made the video before it seemed to be right but when you guys were um rotating your son um in your buildings you got uh much different effects you know and and again if we're looking at the absolute worst case scenario it's very clear uh and uh it looked like i was not doing that okay so uh again apologies but hopefully this remedies it gives you guys the ability to to make your light studies uh properly and uh i'll tell you what this is not something that i found uh very easily on the internet so hopefully we've also helped a lot of other people so thank you guys for pointing this out to me and uh good luck and uh i'll see you guys in class thanks